mechatronics, stolen parking spots, and chemicals associated with the reward circuit flooding your brain. Oh, come on, you grumpy old man. Just say it. Fine, love, all this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Hey Novi, this is Luke back again to tell you that German Club will be having its next meeting this Friday after school in room 245. They'll be learning about German holidays, everything from Walpurgisnacht to Fasching. They'll be eating carnival snacks and creating grotesque carnival masks. I hope to see you there, and this is Luke signing off. What's up, Novi? Culture Club is meeting Friday, February 23rd at 2.50 in room 182. They'll be learning about the New York City Black Culture in honor of Black History Month. All are welcome and snacks are provided. See you there, Nova. Hey, Wildcats. Your BSA club is back at it again with a Valentine's Day event, karaoke and cupcakes. You don't have to be afraid to sing to your bae. Anyways, join the BSA from on February 14th from 3 to 4.30 in room 255. Bring cupcakes, cookies, or any sweets that you have. If you have any questions, email Camilla Wilson. See you there, Nova. Hey Novi, Astronomy Club is having its eighth meeting on Star Wars. They are going to be discussing the scientific accuracy of the films, and that's going to be held in room 247 tomorrow after school. What's up Novi? On Thursday, February 29th, there'll be a mandatory athlete preseason meeting after school in the auditorium. If you plan on doing track and field, be sure to sign up on final forms if you haven't already. If you have any questions, you can find Mr. Zuck in room 207. We'll see you later, Novi. What's up, Novi? On Friday, February 16th, during all lunches, you'll be able to visit the all-new Mechatronics Lab and ask Mr. Baylog any questions you have about the new course. Hey, Wildcats. Recently, there was a Scholastics Art and Writing Competition. 21 of our Wildcats got individual awards. There were 15 Gold Key Awards, and one of them won an American Vision Award. There were 17 Silver Key Awards, 12 Honorable Mentions, and two people got an Art Portfolio Award. One person got a Gold Key, and one person got a Silver. Congratulations to all those who won awards. All right, so today I'm here with Officer Mullick to see what she has to say about stolen parking. Why do people get their parking spots stolen? I think it's because kids want to park closer to the building than what they're supposed to. What happens when a kid parking spot gets stolen? If the kid reports it to either an officer or myself, I can take one of these warnings out to the car, leave it on the car to tell the person not to park there again. How do people know which parking spots are taken? If it's painted, you shouldn't be parking in it. So if a kid takes a parking spot, what information do you need? If they could report the kind of car, color of car, license plate, and where the car is parked to either myself or the office. That's helpful. What is your opinion on getting your parking spots stolen? I think it's horrible. I think it's it's like the worst thing to wake up to, to come to school and have your parking spot gone. I agree. So now you know what to do if a parking spot is stolen. Don't take other people's parking spots. See you later, Novi. Thanks for watching the Cat's Eye News, and happy Valentine's Day. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest.